check it out. Crazy, right? Today, we're gonna show you exactly how it's made, and it might not be done how you think. Behind me is the ONA AV35 wire EDM, and it uses electrical discharge machining technology to cut parts within one ten thousandth of an inch accuracy. That is equivalent to taking a human hair and cutting it into 40 pieces. Crazy tight tolerances. This is easily one of the most precise machines in the shop. Now this technology has been around since the 1940s. It's used primarily in the aerospace, medical, and tool and die industries. To get started making our parts, first we're gonna make our punch, which is then gonna be installed into our die and it's gonna fit perfectly. There is no room for error. What the? It says here that 78.2% of you guys out there watching our content aren't subscribed. We just hit 500,000 subscribers, and if you would have clicked subscribe, we'd probably already be at a million. It's not that hard. Do your part and click the subscribe button. Boom. So when I say punch and die, what do I mean? Well, this is referred to as a punch. This is the piece that's going to enter into our die, which is gonna be the perfect pocket that we cut on our second op. Cut our punch, we're using one rough and two trim passes. Not only can it accomplish surface finishes as good as a surface grinder, but this thing can hold one tenth tolerance on tall parts, on short parts, hard materials. It doesn't matter. The machine does not care. If it's conductive, it's gonna cut it and it's gonna do it precisely. Now that our first rough pass is over, we have what we call our slug that we've removed from our punch. Now this is actually scrap, and this is why we can't make our part out of one piece. Because when our wire travels through our block, it's leaving what we call a kerf or a gap from that wire. That gap is about 16 thousandths of an inch, which is way too big to leave a seamless fit or a precise fit when we're finished. Now that we've removed our slug, we're gonna go ahead and cut our two trim passes. After that, our part's gonna be the perfect size. This is only half the equation. For that piece, we're gonna thread a wire all the way through a start hole, and we're gonna cut an enclosed pocket that this is gonna fit perfectly into. So in order to cut our punch so precisely, we have to compensate for the gap that's left behind between the wire and the spark and our part. To do that, we offset our wire to the outside of our part. As I zoom in, you can see that we have three passes that are all offset. The first pass is offset by about three thousandths and two tenths. The reason for that is because it's gonna have the most power. After that, we drop the power settings and our flushing, and then we're able to take very precise cuts that cut our part exactly to the dimension that it needs to be. And that's how we're able to achieve the exact size that we need for our punch. So now let's talk about our die. So our die is done almost exactly the same way we compensate our wire into the inside of our pocket. So if we zoom in, right here we've got our pocket and inside of that we've got our compensation for our wire. Now since our punch and our die are the exact same thickness and the same material, we get to use the exact same technology file just compensated to the inside instead of the outside. Now controlling our spark and our offset is what gives us the ability to hold incredible precision on this machine. We didn't have to make any adjustments at all. It came right off the machine with about one and a half, ten thousandths of an inch clearance per side. Now you can only make a part like this on the wire EDM. Oh, dude. 
All right, so there you have it. We were able to make a precision punch and die that fit together perfectly using wire EDM technology. Now this thing is so precise, it actually drops very slowly into the die block because there's an air cushion that's trapped underneath and that air can only escape out of the small amounts of clearance on the side walls. Before I go, after you're done watching this video, head over to titansofcnctooling.com. We've got crazy deals on three inch dodeca face mills with 10 inserts. We already sold out of the two inchers, so don't miss out on the three inchers. We've also got Heimer 3D sensors on sale and you won't find that deal anywhere else. If you haven't signed up for CNC Expert yet, go to cncexpert.com. Make sure you sign up and take full advantage of everything that platform has to offer. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We just hit 500,000 subscribers and we're trying to get to a million. Before I go, let's watch this disappear one last time. Boom. Now a good way to differentiate between the punch and the die is you can think about the punch as the male piece that fits inside of the die. Oh, that's like, yeah, no, can't say that. <laughs> oh Super my. Make the oh my. I don't know if I go that deep. <laughs> <laughs> this is precision to Barry Setzer. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>